Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm here to talk about the recent uh, release of the trailer for Godzilla Resurgence, the new Godzilla movie that's coming out from Toho Studios um, over in Japan. It's the first Godzilla movie to be produced over in Japan since Godzilla Final War back in 2007. Um, at first, I was really excited for this movie because I was like, yeah, finally, Toho's making, you know, a new Godzilla movie and everything, you know. I got my fix with the 2014 Godzilla movie, which I thought was very good. But, you know, I was ready for Toho to get back to making them. But, you know... Then I realized Toho hasn't really made a great Godzilla movie since 2001. Um, their last one, like, their last three that they made were kind of forgettable. Like, Godzilla against Mechagodzilla was okay, you know? And so was Tokyo SOS, and Final Wars wasn't that great at all. But, you know, it still, it wasn't a bad movie. They weren't, like, great, though, like, compared to a lot of the other Godzilla movies that have came out. So, at first, I was like, I was really excited for this movie. I was like, yeah, great, and everything, but then, you know, just things like that started to weigh it down. I was like, okay, maybe, you know, maybe this won't be as great as I thought it could be, but, you know, you know, I still kept my hopes up and everything, because I've learned to hype since the new, uh, Star Wars movie came out. I've learned, like, there's certain ways to hype, and you have to do your research and everything of what of who is behind the movie and what are the circumstances of what's going into it. And for this movie, I'm a little, I'm really worried because, like, first off, um, they said that it's not going to be all suit action. It's going to be a mix of some and some practical effects and CGI. Um, that was one thing I always admired about a lot of the other gods, the older Godzilla movies from Toho Studios, is that they didn't have you know, barely any computer in it, um, computer-generated images, and when they did it, they didn't look that great, but, um, that was something I always really loved, is that they stuck to practical effects, and now that they're doing that, you know, they're moving on to the more, like, doing more CGI effects, like, it makes me a little bit nervous. Godzilla's design in this movie, um, first off, they said it's gonna be even bigger than, um, the 2014 Legendary Godzilla, which I was just like, well, I, to me, like, 2014 Legendary Godzilla, that tops it off. That's as big as you can get with Godzilla. I mean, to me, I don't think he needs to be any bigger, uh, to be honest. Like, that is as big as you should ever get. But, like, now it's like, oh, they got to make him bigger. It almost seems like maybe they're trying to compete a little bit. You know, because to me, the 2014 Godzilla was the best Godzilla movie we've gotten since 2001, um, in my opinion. Um, it wasn't perfect, but I still thought it was really good. For Godzilla's design in this movie, like... I'm not a fan of it. I don't I don't really like the design that they're going with with this movie. Um I really wanted something that looked a lot more like the traditional Godzilla and this one does. It's just I don't know, the way the teeth are and everything, it's just like, I'm just not a fan of it. You know, the fact that he's going to be even bigger, and then, like, you know, the way that they made him look, like, there's one picture where it looks like that he's regenerating or something, like, you know, like, he's just down to his muscles, and now he's, like, growing his skin back, which is kind of like, you know, I, I know Godzilla always had, like, regenerative abilities in a lot of the other movies, but, like, I don't know, I'm just not a huge fan of this design, like, I kind of have the same feeling I did when I first saw the how the legendary Godzilla was going to look, it was like, when I first saw the legendary Godzilla, I was like, okay, this is not a traditional Godzilla. This is Godzilla as if he were a real animal, is how I, uh, you know, interpreted it. But then I was just like, you know, it, it grew on me. It grew on me, and I do love that design. I think it's a really good design. I, I prefer, like, you know, the classic Toho designs a lot more. I like the, the 54 Godzilla, the uh, 64 Godzilla, yeah, the one from Godzilla vs. Mothra, the Heisei, and my all-time favorite, the giant monster all-out attack, um... Godzilla design and the 2004 Final War design. Um, I mentioned in my previous video um, the King Kong vs. Godzilla um, news uh, reaction video that this was my favorite design. I went over these and everything. So I have high hopes for this movie. I'm just like, I'm proceeding cautiously. I'm not trying to hype this movie too much so I don't ruin it for myself like I did with Man of Steel, you know, and other movies that I've hyped for. So, you know, I'm, I'm excited, but I'm also keeping like this open mind that this like this this could be bad. You know, you always got to keep that in the back of your mind. Like, this could be bad. You got to prepare for, like, some disappointment. But I really hope it's good. Um, 
I'm not, like I said, not a huge fan of the design. Um, I'm not sure what the story they're going with. I'm trying to stay away from the story. Um, I'm wondering, I hope it gets a U.S. theatrical release, like maybe at least a limited release where, like, even if I have to travel, I could at least see it in theaters. Um, that would be really nice. But, you know, other than that, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit worried for this movie, but, you know, and then the teaser footage that we got, um, it had, like, it was, like, from a, a regular camera. It was, like, kind of a shaky cam type thing, like a found footage thing. I hope it's not a found footage or anything like that. There's not a lot of scenes like that because that personally gives me a migraine. I'm not... I, I like I like found footage, but I feel like that it's been done to death, but that's for another video. Um, so, yeah, like, again, I'm excited. Hope it turns out good. And, you know, that's just my opinion on, you know, the teaser footage that we got. I mean, it was teaser footage. It wasn't a teaser trailer because it didn't really reveal much about the movie other than just one shaky cam scene. So I hope they stick to their, you know... To what Toho knows best about making Godzilla and they don't try to radicalize it or change it um, anymore and it's going to be missed that Akuro <sighs> I'm trying to remember how, how you pronounce his name but the man who composed all the Godzilla music um, and all the movies I'm, I, you know he passed away so he's not going to be coming back to do the music and everything you know that traditional Godzilla theme that, that really iconic music that he has so hopefully they follow it up and like do that because like that was something I felt like was really missing from the 2014 Godzilla movie was while the music was great um, I really wanted to see something that was a little bit closer to that um, the original Godzilla music so hopefully we have that in the movie um, again we don't we don't really know much um, I heard a synopsis got released but I'm not gonna look at it um, I don't want to I don't like spoiling I don't want to spoil anything before I go into the movie theaters so yeah if any more footage comes out I'll definitely talk about that yeah that's it for me as always if you like what you see go ahead and hit subscribe follow me on Facebook and Twitter the links are in the description below and remember I waste my money so you don't have to thanks for watching